Hi, I'm Tom Field with Information Security Media Group. I want to welcome to the studio Hal Lonis. He's Senior Vice President and CTO with OpenText. Hal, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So WebRoot has just come out with the latest threat report. What can you tell me about some of the trends and highlights that's in this research? Yeah, it's very interesting. You know, one, one thing we see is that, um, you know, attacks against uh, older operating system PCs are, are more and more prevalent. So the bad guys are going after, um, you know, Windows 7 especially. We've seen a 125% uh, increase in attacks against Windows 7. So they obviously realize that these older operating systems are not as patched, are not as up to date, and not as secure as the newer operating systems. Sure. So given what you've learned, what kind of predictions do you have for security in 2020? Yeah, you, you know, I think we've seen a continued increase in uh, phishing attacks. Uh, we saw a 640% increase year over year last year, and we think that trend has nowhere to go but, but on up. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, you know, as operating systems and um, you know, digital assets become more locked down, uh, the bad guys go after the weak link, you know, in the security chain, and that's often the human being, the human element, you know, in Funny what we, we do. we should say that. <laughs> so here we are at RSA conference, and what are we talking about this week? The human yeah. element, right, yeah. right. And so, you know, we see a real need to continue to educate users and uh, make sure they're aware of the threats and things like spear phishing, attacks that may seem very personalized to them, that may seem to come from the boss or some other respected individual in the organization. And a lot of times we can be tricked into feeling a sense of urgency or like we need to give up our username or password or important details about either ourselves or our company. Yeah. Now I know you're about to release some new research in artificial intelligence and machine learning as well. I don't want to pry into results yet, but talk to me about what you hope to illuminate with this research and how organizations are adopting these tools. Yeah, it's a great question. And what we see with this research and what we want to find out is, you know, with all the hype and all the interest in artificial intelligence and machine learning, you know, do people really understand what it's all about? Do they see the benefit from it in the tools they're, they're buying and they're being, you know, marketed uh, from, from all the vendors? And if they don't see the benefit or if they don't even understand how AI and ML are being used, then you know, um, they're not going to understand which tools they should get and what is going to best protect their organizations in the future. So we're doing a lot of research around that. We think it's very interesting. We've been involved in AI and ML for many years. Yep. Uh, before it was hyped, before it was super popular, and uh, we've made a lot of use, it in, uh, use of it in our threat intelligence and mm -hmm. uh, in what we deliver. So uh, we believe in it, but we want to check and see uh, if others really have an understanding on, on what's being marketed to them. So Hal, if you think about it, in the conversation we've had here, we've talked about out-of-date operating systems and how those are prey to, to uh, attackers out there. We've talked about phishing, and then we've spent some time with artificial intelligence and machine learning and emerging technologies. Talk to me about open text. How are you helping organizations, one, cope with the threats, but two, be able to adopt some of these new technologies and tools as well. Yeah, so open text, you know, acquiring uh, Carbonite and Weber really brings a new dimension to what we can do. So, you know, open text has, uh, you know, a legacy of, uh, of acquiring uh, security concerns. And now with us coming in, we think we can really build momentum, build a lot of critical mass to delivering those um, products in the future. So um, uh, open text is very committed to the small and medium business and the consumer marketplace as well as the enterprise business they've already built. So we really have uh, new channels for both companies to take our products to market yeah. and, and, to, and to really go uh, solve this problem in new ways. And the small to mid-sized market really has been overlooked until recent years. We think so very much. You know, we found a great channel there in delivering uh, through managed service providers to that market. So, you know, that's the, the organizations that small and medium businesses use to outsource IT because they're too small to deal with those problems themselves. And so by arming the managed service providers with tools and technology, they can go solve those problems. So, you know, OpenText is very excited about that. We're also very excited about their markets and what they've done. Uh, you know, really great stuff there. So we hope to be able to share experience. Excellent. Hal, thanks so much for coming into the studio today. Thanks again for having me. Again, we've been talking with Hal Lonis with OpenText. For Information Security Media Group, I'm Tom Field. Thank you very much.